Resilience Adaptability Goal-Oriented Tampilisan National High School A virtual graduation ceremony for senior high school for school year 2020-2021 Answering the call of the need of this challenging time with a theme Strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic Kalidad ng edukasyon, lalong patatagin sa gitna ng pandemya. Welcome to Tampilisa National High School Virtual Graduation Ceremony live on Facebook.
We live in this challenging time. Welcome to the fourth commencement exercises of Senior High School Tampilisan and the first ever virtual graduation ceremony for school year 2020-2021. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Oh, 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 oh,
We live fast through this remarkable journey, and we're bound to set course for a new. Greetings to the highly esteemed individuals from the Schools Division of Sabuanga del Norte, Schools Division Superintendent Maria Lisa Artabilon, Madam, Schools District Supervisor Madam Loida J. Himang, our dynamic and active school principal, Mr. Mashana C. Kababat, faculty and staff of Tampilisan National High School, the graduating class of 2021, proud parents, guardians, and friends who are in this platform live streaming with us today. A pleasant afternoon. For the opening remarks, let us hear the words of Ms. Nicole Gilantayao of the Humanities and Social Sciences Strand. In behalf of the graduating class of Tampilisan National High School, Dutch 2021, I would like to acknowledge our distinguished guest, Mr. Benji B. Camilo, the man of today's graduation ceremony. Hard-working and most active school principal, Mr. Marciano C. Kababat, dedicated faculty and staff, fellow graduates, and most especially, our proud and ever supportive parents. Ladies and gentlemen, better afternoon. I take so much pride and honor to welcome all of you in our virtual graduation ceremony. Today is a very special day. This is not just a day to celebrate our graduating class, but also to celebrate the parents and family who have worked so hard and exerted so much effort to make sure their children succeed. My fellow graduates, let us be self-affirmed then that we all deserve such recognition and reaping of the fruits of all our hard work, perseverance, and our striving for excellence. The sweetness of our victory lies not in what we have attained, but in what has driven us forward after every stumble and fall. Before I end this speech, I would like to leave a quote from Marian Williamson, author, activist, and spiritual leader. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Botch 2021, we have what it takes to be successful in life, and we shouldn't let anyone tell us otherwise. Once again, welcome to our virtual graduation ceremony. Thank you. Next on the platform, is our highly esteemed guest speaker, Mr. Benji B. Camilo, Administrative Officer 4 of JRMSU Tampilisan Campus. To our Mission Driven Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Maya Lisa Tabilon, to the equally proactive Principal in Charge of Tampilisan District 1, Mrs. Maria J. Himang, Teaching staff of the Belisa National High School, headed by the project oriented school principal, Mr. Marciano C. Kababat, but 2021 graduates, parents, and to all our virtual viewers, a pleasant day to all of us. This school year has been very challenging for all of us, but none of the buyers stop us in the pursuit of educating the youth of our community. We ventured into the new platform of instructional delivery by a distant learning modality. It was tough, but here we are, very proud that we made it, and it is a great honor to be a part of this historic event of Tapirisan National High School. Today, as we celebrate the first ever virtual graduation ceremony with the theme, Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic, we celebrate not only the six years of sacrifices of high school education for our students, parents, and teachers, but we are one with the entire country in celebrating our nation's display of resilience. Despite of all the challenges brought by the pandemic, we are reaping the fruits of our concentrated efforts for the continuity of education. COVID-19 created a shift into a new paradigm of handling almost every aspect of mission blending, greatly affecting all sectors in our society, but most especially in the education. 
For over a year now, our learning institutions have closed its doors to our primary clientele, the students. We are lucky enough that instead of succumbing to the dreadful effect of possible constraint upon region, our government push beyond the borders of financial scarcity and try to make this pandemic less, less than the impact, not to devastate the plight of our Filipino youth. The pandemic also exposed the gap between the well-to-do families and those who are barely surviving. But again, the Filipinos' brand of resilience prevailed. The challenge of modular distant learning was so great. Our government, out of nothing, innovated, adapted, and continually pushed for exploration in various educational platforms. From the push, uh, traditional face-to-face -face instruction, we migrated into the online education. We been turned into classes and outputs in chat boxes, optimized broadcast media, and try into the unknown of the possibilities of self-learning materials for our students. It was not easy, but here we are producing the first and hopefully the last of COVID graduates. Today's graduation could not be possible without also the great sacrifices of parents and teachers who wholeheartedly sacrificed for the education of our children. Teachers give much more than they were paid for, risking themselves for possible contagion just to deliver what is required. For a short period of time, teachers became migrants into the virtual world, adapting to the modern trend despite connectivity issues. They were trained to be broadcasters and born candles to learn and deliver what are required in the new competencies under the adjusted curriculum. And for that, they can be considered as also plumb liners in this battle against the pandemic. Same commendation must also be given to the parents who, despite of working for livelihood under these trying times, still demanded to read and study the modules to become effective partners in educating their children. Some parents may lack the education needed to be able to teach their children in their lessons, but the motivations and guidance they provided for the learners in accomplishing and submitting outputs back to the teachers was a great impact that compensated their lack of skills to teach. If there is a thing that this pandemic has brought to us, that is strengthening the bond between parents and teachers. To our graduates, let me share to you another that says, every end is a new beginning. Today marks the end of our basic education and the beginning of a new journey in tertiary education in preparation of your chosen careers. With the rest of contagion still lurking around, the challenges ahead have to avoid. With the resumption of face-to-face -face classes still being uncertain, it is much better to prepare your mindset for another episode of distant learning. But be warned, the road ahead is far beyond what you have already passed. Higher competencies and rigorous deadlines for required outputs in every learning discipline are all waiting ahead. All of it were designed for you to pass the board examinations to become effective and efficient members of the professional workforce. I'm, I am advising you right now to please make your tank of resilience full for the journey ahead. You need now to focus on your dreams. It is high time to do away with easy, good-looking characters and start to spray the maturity expected from you. This is the time to begin accepting the task of making your own life doing responsible decisions. In the words of the British political writer James Allen, he who would accomplish little must sacrifice little. He who would achieve much must sacrifice much. He who would attain highly must sacrifice greatly. In the old times, just graduating and passing the board examination is an insurance for you to land a good job. But with the current trend of globalization, where there is top competition among fellow professionals, it is also necessary that you not only graduate, but to graduate with good grades and pass the board examination with high marks.
Again, my warmest congratulations to all of you. Continue pushing hard with the right attitude and focus. I am confident that you will be able to make it to your dreams. This is a challenging time, but God has promised in the scriptures, this too shall pass. Thank you and keep safe everyone. For the presentation of candidates for graduation of school year 2020-2021, we have our school principal 3, Mr. Mashano C. Kababat, and to be confirmed by our school's division superintendent of Zamboanga del Norte, Madam Maria Lisa Artabilon. Good day. I have the honor to present to you the 290 candidates for graduation of the Pisa National High School for school year 2020-2021. Academic track, STEM, with three males and five females with a total of 48. Youngs, with four males and nine females with a total of 63. ABM, 12 males with five females with a total of 37. And technical vocational livelihood track, it's a 13 males, 37 females with a total of 50. IA, 43 males, 4 females with a total of 47. ICT, 16 males, 29 females with a total of 45. We have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed by the Department of Education under the K-12 Basic Education Program for senior high school curriculum. May I request Madam Maria Lisa Artabilon, our school's division superintendent, to confirm their graduation. Candidates, you have been proudly presented and recommended by your school head for graduation after you have successfully completed all the requirements of the curriculum as prescribed under the K-12 Basic Education Program of the Department of Education. And so by virtue of power vested upon me as the school's division superintendent of the school's division of Zamboanga del Norte, I hereby confirm you graduates in senior high school for school year 2020-2021. Congratulations! Ladies and gentlemen, the graduating class of Tampilisan Senior High School, school year 2020-2021. The Senior High School Academic Track. Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. Adriano Edward M. With honors. Alalong Kimberly Jane R. With honors. Albarico Carel May C. With honors. Alhas Isa L. With honors. Arisgado John Charl. With honors. Bacalso Joyce Ann V. With honors. Bagnol Anelita B. Balili Peter Jr. M. With honors. Baracol Nelbert Y. With honors. Berlin Ralph Wendell L. With honors. Bunak Ian Carlo D. Bunak Jessame E. Kababat Mark Daimler B. With honors. Kainta Shelame E. With honors. Kamanse April Gale E. With honors. Camilo Neil Andrew A. Carillo Crystal May L. With honors. Kayakap RJ S. Colina Justin Mark P. With honors. 
Cruz Michael Robert P. with honors. The Arol Isabel B. with honors. The Mukol John Carmel C. Idisa Island B. Inot Christian Angelo R. with honors. Espinosa Chan May C. with honors. Largo Renato Jr. A. with honors. Laida Norhana S. Luyu Aika M. Magdapit Jessel S. with honors. Magtuba Angelica S. With honors. Mayormita Jason B. With honors. Muhamitano Cheselin E. With honors. Ordes Kenneth Dave C. With honors. Pagador St. Rhea B. With honors. Picore Paulo Angelo B. Puno Rachel May D. With honors. Racho Rosalyn T. With honors. Redoble Rhea Jane L. Regala Raglan Mar D. With honors. Rico Mares M. With honors. Rodriguez John B. Silo Charles Benz M. Sudario Jassel R. With honors. Swan Maribel A. With honors. Tapian Sinchan B. With honors. Tutu Adrian E. With honors. Tumuba J. P. Williamore Bryle L. Class Advisor, Cheryl M. Andam. Accountancy, Business, and Management. Alpas Joel Jr. L. Anja Bonjoy Jr. D. Apatan Resume A. Binigno Glicelin M. Bulayog Ella D. Kadumo Crystal K. B. With honors. Kainta Lady May J. With honors. Kamanse Alistair Rex O with honors. Katmon Ena C. Kulata Edlin A with honors. Daguman Regin A. Diaz Rename A. Dunduyano Hessel C. Dunguan Shella L with honors. Eroho Cherry Ann G. Eroho Jihel L. Gador Remelin D. Jemitar Jeremy E. Humilid Queenie D. With honors. Lumusad Lloyd P. Manait Febijin M. Mandawe Christopher C. Mangubat Liza D. Manolo Irish Marie M. With honors. Manyosa Ketchume S. With honors. Nano Merrill B. Onog James Earl C. Orong Raymond. Pahayahay Anna Rose G. Pahayahay Maricon A. Lando Harold Clark T. Ricania JRD A. Celandron Freddy D. 
Talagon Eileen J. with honors. Tome Jocelyn E. Tome Melcha S. with honors. Villaforte Joshua S. Class Advisor, Ninita P. Pangoy. Humanities and Social Sciences. Alcantara Frances E. Ameth Shane Carlo A. Ancheta Jansen W. Angana Jassel Marie G. Alcejo Moren J. With honors. Bajo Jennifer A. Banyas JN P. Bordai Juliana Marie J. Bulayog Jonessa C. Castigador Hana Camille Z. Senas Mark John M. Cordova Alvin C. Cruz Fortunate W. Cruz Raymond G. Juarez Ronel Carlos A. Dalmacio Riva Jane B. Di Gilmo Janrad P. Ingito Bernardreo V. With honors. Historco Yovaris M. Evangelista Irene E. Fernandez James C. Flores Jericho E. Jepega Christian J. C. Gomalas Rasbel N. Gomiton Arlene N. With honors. Andumon Janro M. Humalon Danny Boy P. Lada Benedicto Jr. G. Lies Edelmay P. Lawas Angelo T. Licious Giniel Jr. A. Ligotom Gerald T. Lumoxo Prince Rian Rel P. Lumompon Janelin R. Luntayao Nicole G. With honors, Maata Jodelin B. Malagong Feb Crescent S. With honors, Matulin Sweet Edelu S. With honors, Nalzaro Darrell C. Ogarte Leo E. Olanda Grolly Paul B. Omilig Tresha Marigold G. Omilig Tresha May G. Pangilayan Jan Clefford L. Pantilgan Gwyneth T. With honors. Paredes Jan Lloyd E. Paigani Jornalen R. With honors. Poon Marijin P. Ramuga Jan Brian L. Romano Julie Grace S. With honors. Sabilion Selsame L. With honors. Sale Mary Apple T. Salot Lester Kiefer B. Sanchez Aikame C. Sanchez Ryan U. Santiago Robert Jr. L. Sumaoy Justine R. Taman Venus Adrian C. Tolero Jeremy C. Tubal Arvelin N. With honors. Tumubag Philip C. Velarde Madel G. Ye Lendon Class Advisor, Sweaty Sol R. Humawan
the Senior High School Technical, Vocational, and Livelihood Track. Information and Communication Technology. Abdan Muslima A. Alom Rosan A. Avela Grace P. Bakal Crystalline C. Bagnol Iveros V. Barnaiha Jaya M. With honors. Borda Analeya Asonta B. Kamahalan Jenelin M. Descalyar Rene A. Jego Jezebel A. Dusi Giovanni R. Ebarle Joycel R. Ingo Joan G. Godoy Michelle A. Imbo Aljemark P. Hapin Marigold B. Humawan Joey M. Lagunay K. Princess E. Lison Charwin S. Limpa Grayabel T. Maata Mariel H. Maluluyon Chiveros P. Mansanades Philip P. Manyosa Jeremy T. Morte Merafi M. Moya Grossi S. Obordo Angeline Y. Obordo Manilin B. Okom Charmin A. Ogarte Bimar A. Onog J S. Onog John S. Oyangorin Furly J Mark A. Padilla May B. Paigani Dexter R. Pimintel Meryl Joy D. Rabuya Jollibee L. Ripolio Gloria S. Ruiz Karen Joy L. Salcedo Jessil T. Salibat Jean Clyde P. Selim Mario O. Tome Howard John V. Tubal Janrik A. Tulabing Criselda F. Class Advisor Jackie Bell P. Abahar. Home Economics Abulay Marites B Aguilar Charifa B Alasad Resume G Alian Ana Marie B Amanao Larlen A Angkatan Jayami G Anino Sydney L. Arisgado Haneros O. With honors. Bantutu Alcusar P. Baracol Marilyn G. Baracol Marigold O. Barcelon Marianne J. Barrera Angelo P. Baterna John Paul O. Pilagantal Michael B. Beltran Charlie P. Beltran Harold B. Burbania Charles Ibra A. Cadano Leslie Jean J. Cadano Romel V. Kamanse Fritzian B. Capin Stephanie V. Carvajal Naneth J. Daginutas Karen A. Dean Shalame Dayana A. With honors. Idinan Lilith R. 
Indong Rosely A. Ferrater Judin Ann A. Gumolon Glidel Babe P. Gumalas Kristen S. Lanit Hamelcar G. Libris Azel P. Malawig Floriana B. Manungkas Renalin G. Montano Lester M. Pahe Lebert M. Palalon Herseline B. Patria Abigail M. Pontanar Almari C. Pusud Isa B. Rabuya Loren Q. Rosales Merilove E. Sabanal Trina O. Sabsal Gladys S. with honors. Sambrana Analome T. with honors. Sumilo Kent John D. Sumingid Roslyn L. Tulop Maricel T. Tumubag Joanne M. Class Advisor, Renilo D. Tatoy. Electrical Installation and Asenho Jeremy P. Ayudgo Charlie D. Baksal Rexmon B. Baho Romel C. Bandoy Clifford D. Berlin Clifford B. Guenepe Novijane D. Caporte Roel Jean G. Carion Raymark T. Delatore Remy C. Devara Treshaflor G. Dunguan Geno D. Dunguan Mark D. Inanio Graymark R. Indangan Albert L. Inop Jellicris C. Flores Gerald Mike F. Galve Ivan G. Galve Rexy A. Gumalas Jokris S. Gumla Steven R. Rames Christopher T. Isao Jafet T. Javierto John Rex I. Pumalon Clemente Jr. D. Lesmis J. Mark S. Mabilog Albert A. Magamay Jan Michael H. Manukas Arian G. Pacania Danilo Jr. P. Padernal Romel B. Paisano John Lloyd F. Parami Joe M. M. Reyes Dave M. Sagang Maika. Saladaga Kent Andrian C. Sumili John Delmark G. Tabiga Aljade A. Tabiliran Jupiter T. Tipasha Helmar G. Vales Samson P. Veliacora Alison Angelo M. Veliacura Alejandro Jr. S. Class Advisor, Jupi P.D. Velivenci C. Manesi. Now, let us be inspired by the following messages for the graduating students of Class 2021 from our school's Division Superintendent of Zamboanga del Norte, Madam Maria Liza R. Tabilon, Regional Director of DepEd Zamboanga Peninsula, Madam Isabelita M. Bores, and our very own DepEd Secretary, Professor Leonor Magtolik Briones.
Congratulations and well wishes to all our 2021 completers and graduates in all the public and private learning institutions of the province of Zamboanga del Norte. Completing your academic milieu is a great accomplishment and should be celebrated. This year has been like no other and your dedication and fortitude during this pandemic is much to be admired because the class of 2021 is the class that endured the most challenging of years which you courageously persevered. You have accomplished so much while navigating the challenges of the new normal. Your hard work and resilience have been impressive which concretized this year's graduation theme, strengthening quality education amid COVID-19 pandemic. In those days that you have been placed under the shelter of your homes and care and facilitation of your parents while learning independently through modules or through other modalities, many have become your champions and worked incessantly to ensure that education will continue for you. Seeing you graduate today is so assuring and fulfilling for your teachers, families, friends, local and national leaders, and other stakeholders. Your support groups have exemplified a nurturing leadership and have collaborated to surmount over all challenges during the chaotic time to provide for you the much needed resources that will enable you to realize your dreams, knowing that your dreams serve as your driving force to succeed in life. Yet dreams can only be meaningful when in it are embedded the dedication and commitment, a power that lead and power you to translate dreams into realities, the reconciling of intentions with actions to translate dreams into positive outcomes, the energizing of self with good vibes through prayer, empowering, encouraging, and inspiring surrounding, the anchoring of pride and confidence and ensuring to be clothed with a grace born out of modesty and humbleness amidst successes and triumphs, the motivating and influencing others which elucidates leading and empowering people, and serving God through His people that multiplies and spreads widely the gifts and talents as your important treasures and blessings. Graduates, we adults who have come ahead in life have already committed and dedicated our plans, actions, and resources, hopefully, to make abound the opportunities for you. On this special day commences your journey to another phase of your endeavor in life. You take on a more challenging role to play, and as you traverse the path, it is our prayer that your perseverance and strength carry you through all difficulties and adversities. We will be with you along the way and are already excited to see the positive changes that you will be making in the world we live in. Mabuhay and God bless Class of 2021. Buenos dias a todos. Good morning, everyone. From the bottom of my heart and on behalf of the regional office, let me greet each and every one of you with this felicitation. Happy, happy graduation. There are three persons whom we dedicate this event first and foremost your parents they have given you so much love and understanding even at this pandemic time if there is that group of persons who are very happy for this accomplishment that you have in this covid pandemic time it's your parents despite the problems of limited access to an online modality of learning, 
they have given the necessary support, especially financial support. Even for those who cannot afford, parents have gone out of their way just to help you out. And through the years, from the beginning of your schooling, our parents, your parents, have always been there. In fact, in a classical way of saying, you have never become one without your parents. What you are today, it's all because of your parents. And so to the parents who are attending also the virtual graduation exercises, let me thank you and let me congratulate all of you for having done your best as parents. After all, the real jewels in our family are our children. What they have achieved today is actually a big one to reckon with. And that would be an accomplishment also for us as parents. The second group that we should acknowledge and give accolade is the group of our teachers. And so to our teachers, to your teachers, let me also congratulate and be grateful for that untiring support that you have given in this very challenging COVID pandemic time. We have limited resources, we have limited time and space, but you are true to the work of a teacher. Actually, the theme of strengthening quality education despite this COVID pandemic time rests on the shoulders of our teachers. And so we have tested you for your resilience, for your perseverance, and for your remarkable competency, especially in matters of adjusting the learning resources. And so to our teachers, again, DepEd Region 9 is very grateful for all the sacrifices that you have extended in the parlance of the theme of our 123rd Philippine Independence Day. You have, you have become our heroes because despite the time and the space, you continuously pursue the delivery of the self-learning modules or the so-called blended learning modality. And the last group, of course, is your very own selves, coupled with the support of our local government units, especially also the school administrators. Let me congratulate and thank all of you, especially the principals, who have done all a lot of things just to install and implement the basic learning continuity plan that we have installed for all our schools, even the private schools. And so today is a day of what we call a day of happiness, whether we like it or not. Let's all be cheerful that finally we have reached the end part, the finale of your learning for this school year, 2020-2021. Of course, we all know that this has been a very unique experience having adapted the so-called SLM, the self-learning modules, as a way of getting insights, knowledge, and developing our skills. There are a lot of problems that come our way, especially as we comply with the IATF health protocols, especially that there are a lot of restrictions in the part of our learners. But in totality, we've been true to our mantra that learning must continue. This has been the clamor of our secretary that learning must continue. And so we did prove to ourselves and to the community that learning has continuously been pursued by all of us. And so for Gen X, Gen Y, the millennials and your group Gen Z, 
We really are very appreciative of that kind of effort that you have extended. There were cases that you have started to stop and be tempted to drop out, but because of the persistence of your parents, the dedication and the commitment of our school administrators and teachers, finally you decided that you should also continue. Indeed, you have continued. Thus, your graduation exercises today. And so to all of you, our warm congratulations and felicitations for having done a good job. And so to class 2021, a unique class of COVID era, may you have a positive outlook after these graduation exercises as we welcome the next school year and as you welcome also the next set of challenges for your next ladder, next journey as you want to put yourselves in that challenging part of educating yourselves and feeling accomplished, eventually being part of nation building. So to all of you, congratulations. To all of you who have proven that you are still very strong in mind and spirit with a strong commitment to pursue quality education. Again, congratulations. Muchísimas gracias. Hasta la vista. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically, where we've always thought We've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners, this event would not have take, would not be taking place um, at all. 
And so thank you, teachers. Your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed, the assignments are correctly uh, implemented, and the learners are truly learning. And you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations, teachers, for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners, and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings of fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down, and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if you will remember this event many, many years from now. 
I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, 
and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world, and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Let us lend an ear for the message of the representative of Tampilisan Senior High School graduates of Class 2021, Ms. Joyce Ann V. Bacalso of the Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics strand. A blessed day to everyone. First of all, I would like to say that I am very honored to have been given this opportunity. It is said that high school life is the most memorable phase in someone's life, remembering the laughter and mischief moments that made us cry. Like, who would forget our first day of school, when we met our new and old friends, and when we introduced ourselves in front of the whole class? Who would forget the usual scene whenever we're about to form a group when making a group project? Who would forget the stress when exams or deadlines were near? But, despite of all the challenges that we faced, we find the courage to stand up and continue towards our dreams in life. Especially this year, our last year in high school, where we faced a big challenge, the COVID-19 pandemic, which makes us continue our education through modules as our new normal setting. I know that most of us during the past months were experiencing great stress and even get more frustrated, but we never give up. And thanks to those people who are continuously supporting and believing in us. In behalf of the graduating class of school year 2020-2021, I would like to express our sincerest gratitude to all our dear parents for your constant support, love, understanding, and pieces of advice, for teaching us great values in life, for all your sacrifices and hard work to send us to school, even in this health crisis. To all our teachers and advisors, we thank you for your patience, safekeeping, and nurturing us as our second parents. We may not be good at all times, but still, you continue to support and educate us, not only in academics, but more on life's lessons. To our friends and classmates, 
thank you for the time we spent together. Either good or bad, the memories we shared were priceless. The stress when exams were near, the laughters when we achieved something no matter how small it was. The sadness and tears we never were frustrated because we weren't satisfied with our efforts. We've gone through it and surely we can't forget those times. To our dear alma mater, thank you for honing our skills and talents to make us better citizens. Following your mission of giving quality education, we will cherish all the wonderful moments and experiences we had from this institution. May you continue to help your students in building and pursuing their dreams. Above all, I give my deepest gratitude to the Lord who stood by us through this challenging part of our lives. He gave us the strength to face all hardships, gave us courage and hope in our hearts, and never left us in our darkest hours. Glory be to you, O Lord. This chapter of our lives may be ending, but I believe that in every ending, there will come a new beginning. And in that new beginning, we will travel different journeys towards our dreams, where we will meet new faces and experience new challenges. But always remember, wherever the winds will bring our sails, there will always be people who will support, love, and believe in us to make those dreams real, no matter what. Fellow graduates, remember that with or without medal, graduating senior high school is already a big achievement. And we achieve this all together. As I end this message, to all graduates, stay strong, believe in ourselves, and never let this COVID-19 pandemic frustrate our dreams. We will give definition to our undefined future. Congratulations to all of us, Batch 2020-2021. We did it in the midst of this pandemic. Cheers for more successes to come. I'm Joyce and William Marbacalso. Thank you and God bless us all. For this year's very remarkable graduation ceremony, let us hear from our very own school principal three, Mr. Marciano Chico Cababat, for his acknowledgement. My warmest congratulations to the graduates and completers of Campilisan National High School school year from 2020 to 2021. It is my honor to acknowledge the following group of stakeholders who contributed success to the implementation of the suggested modality of basic education and learning continuity plan for the Department of Education, despite the challenges we were facing. First, let me acknowledge the parents and guardians, including family members, for the expanded role as counterpart in educating the children, which help contribute to this wonderful day. Wherein, finally, we are graduating in this culmination exercises. Thank you for extending time and effort, for you are always with them during the distribution and approval of modules, especially in guiding your children and answering their modules at home. Second, I would like also to extend my heartfelt gratitude to our local officials and other stakeholders for being supportive and always ready to respond to the unforeseen necessities and emergencies. Third, my salute to the teachers. I know that this year has not been very easy for all of us because the way of giving instruction has drastically changed from classroom to classroom, from chalkboard to the use of activity sheets on platforms, and from face-to-face -face classes to distance learning. Despite of this, we are all resilient and more innovative trying to find ways to respond to the emerging situation that help to improve the learning outcomes. Congratulations to all of us for enduring and for being patient and for the willingness to engage in a new way of assessing the performance of the learners or even engaging in the methods of teaching which are different from those we are used to. And we should be proud of that for we are able to deliver education despite the challenges and today is the proof of our commitment. Fourth, to the support staff, the major part adhering to the vision of this department, 
to ensure an enabling and supportive environment for effective learning to happen. And lastly, to the graduates and completers, you are the center of this educative process. You have proven because of your persistence to learn that makes you great and unique from other graduates and completers. The culture of practice of learning independently and with family members away from your teachers will tell us that you are different. May this experience of hard work, more great opportunities await ahead. Because of this, we consider you as graduates for you are the first batch to graduate under the distance learning mentality. You deserve to be congratulated. Let's think about what Nelson Mandela had said. And I quote, Education is the most powerful weapon we can use to change the world. Above all, to our almighty God, the provider of everything, we are forever grateful for the success. Once again, congratulations and God bless us all. Almighty Father, we thank you for this opportunity of being together and spend this joyous occasion with your blessings. We are extremely blessed, for despite the situation the world is currently experiencing, you are continuously supplying us with strength, inspiration and wisdom to teach and touch lives. With your loving hands, you continue to encourage us to go on and do our best to be the source of strength and courage to our students. For in our strength alone, we can do nothing. Almighty God, we lift everything in your hands, our hope and dreams for the future. We trust in you. May you hear our prayers and lead us to do what is best for the children who are entrusted in our care. Above all, may you continue to bless each of us with good health and strength to carry our important task. May Jesus Christ serve as our inspiration and example of an untiring and devoted teacher. We ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen.
Kay mapasakit Napakagandang tala ang aking nakita Nagsilbe itong pangakit sa aking mga mata At parang ayoko nang ikaw ay mawala Abuti man na madaling araw basta't kasama ka Maraming mga ulap ang pumabaligid sa iyo Mananatiling tagahanga ng mapansin mo Gusto kitang abutin Nagagandahan ning ning Handa ko tong sukitin Hanggang ako'y maaning di na kailangan maghanap pa ng iba Marami man mga akit sakin Ikaw lang talaga Magmula nung una kitang nakita Parang naramdaman ko na mahal na kita Marami kong dapat nasabihin sa iyo Kaso nga lang ay nahihiya ko Ayoko na sanang ito na aminin Gusto ko lang namang ikay mapasakin Di ko mapigil ang umite kapag dumarating ka na Di mo lang alam na pinagmamasdan kita Kahit ligaw tingin sana ay mapansin mo ako't sagutin Kasi nga alam mo Na ikaw ang dahilan kung ba't ako ganito